on a sideline job today. Roll uh, that fantastic fan thing that we put in the bathroom downstairs. Rosie also bought another one of those, only bigger, to go in our main bathroom. And conveniently, she wants to place it where the old fan was, which is right outside the shower. Me personally, I would put it where you stand in front of the mirror, but she wants it where she stands when she comes out of the shower. Which is convenient because there's already a hole there, so I don't have to worry a lot about measurements. Uh, but I've got the power is already here from the old fan, so all I have to do is plug it in and then run the control switch over there. So I don't even need an electrician because it's a plug-in system. The only thing I've got to worry about now when I'm cutting the hole with the template, I've got some uh, clip, clippy clampy things to hold up the electrical wires out of my way. I can actually get my head in there so I can see what's going on. So. I'll just make that hole a bit bigger to get me started. This plasterboard has fiberglass sprayed on the back of it. And it's also got like horse hair or something, sisal, sisal probably, matted in the uh, chalk itself. That's old school stuff I think, but makes it a lot stronger. The cuts are a lot nicer. So I think I'm going to get away with a decent job here. The template is also the instruction manual which is a bit uh, awkward on account of the fact that when I stick this to the ceiling I don't have an instruction book anymore. But I've already done it once downstairs so I'm reasonably confident. Yesterday I was wearing long pants and long sleeve shirt. Today I'm in t-shirts and shorts again. It's a beautiful day. So this morning I'm going, or no actually it's afternoon now. I am going to mount this to put in the ceiling. And I'm going to mount it with with two layers of board that's a one dollar off cut sheet i got from bunnings i'm going to mount this on two sheets of wood separated by rubber feet to uh, reduce noise up in the attic Actually, I've cut those two at 300 mils fat wide. I'm going to cut one of them down to maybe 250. The top one will be 250. That'll give me room to get my screws into the bottom one to attach it to the uh, the ceiling rafters. Actually, 240.
patience. Now, I think attach that to that, I'll just put one screw down the middle. Now those rubbers may actually be too dense to be of much use, but it might work, even just a little bit. I'm also going to put some foam on top. I want to make the best effort at sound deadening because this is in our bathroom, next door to our bedroom. And I'd like it as quiet as possible because Mrs. doesn't like fans humming. I'm tightening it down snug but not too firm. Because if, if I went down too tight, I would negate the absorption of the foam, I think. In my theory, my theoretical world. No, but not too tight. <laughs> yep, that's nice. Okay, ready to go upstairs. going to put my fan over here which is which if I put it there it will be over the wall of the bathroom possibly even in today wardrobe in our bedroom but that will that's the best place to put it that's only a meter from the unit itself and uh, situated over there it will make the least noise in the bathroom and that's what I want I want the least amount of noise in the bathroom okay. Now, my hips are too wide to turn, so I have to come up and go down again. Uh, now I'm standing on my own foot. Um, right, I might go down and do a bit of work downstairs first.
Away goes my dangly. That seems okay, Rosie. It seems to have gone down a good distance, Rosie. I told her I needed her, and now she disappeared. I need you. What? Where are you? I'm under the ladder. Okay, go to the hole in the wall. I'm at the hole in the wall. See if you can see the thing dangling. Not yet. No, no. Stop. Yeah, pull it out. What? Pull. Now Paul. Paul. Stop. Well, pull harder. Keep going till you find the black one. I've got it. Okay, pull a little bit more. Okay, that'll do. Thank you, that's all I need. You're not going to get electrocuted? Yeah, uh, but I don't know where it's supposed to go. Uh, that's a loose screw. That's a loose so screw. That's a relay. That's going into that one. And they're both, actually they're both going into that one. I reckon. I reckon too. Okay. There's two loose wires there. Yeah. And not my fault, they were loose, that screw was loose. Let's try it. Light is on. Oh, good. Dimmer works. Heat 2 Yay. is on. Heat 1 is on. Well done. Fan. Oh, is well on. done us. Well done us. Yeah. So 
there you have it. If I only had one criticism, I think would be that the fan draws so much air that Rosie doesn't even use it when she's in the shower because cold air circulating when she's wet she doesn't like it I don't like it either but I, you do it anyway because it definitely does get the moisture out of the bathroom the mirror doesn't uh, fog up the windows do a bit but the mirror stays clear um, I can't hear the fan as in the motor I can only hear the air sucking through the machine so there you go another job done Rosie loves it I get brownie points uh, thanks for watching subscribe if you like this video see you later